let's do a little bit of what happened when, shall we? Because the product, the show that we're talking about tonight, September the 1st, 1990, was its era date in the US. And that, of course, was the debut of the first of 65 episodes of The New Adventures. But what happened when, to quote Comrade Thompson, what was the number one single in the UK as of September the 1st, 1990? All right, what do we think? I mean, chat room, if anyone's listening, pop your comments in there. Um, I will tell you, it was number one for three weeks, starting on from August the 25th. And it featured a former Wackaday host. Uh, international viewers, if you're watching this and you're listening to this going, what the heck was Wackaday? Wackaday was a tremendous Saturday morning um, kids kids game show, basically, on, on TVAM in the 80s. Not got it yet? Let's give you the answer. It was the itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka da bikini that she wore for the first time today. Oh yeah, itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka. Sorry. Uh, Bomber Arena uh, featuring as Gruff has put in the chat room, Timmy Mallet. Absolutely right with Mallet's Mallet. Um, Number one single in the USA wasn't as cheesy as this. It was by Sweet Sensation. It was called If Wishes Came True. And it was number one for one week from September the 1st of 1990. Moving on to movies, though. What was the number one movie in the UK box office on September the 1st? I'll give you some clues. It featured an Oscar-winning performance by Patrick Swayze. It featured a woman before she was indecently proposed by Robert Redford, Demi Moore. And it also features a woman who's in the news this past week, maybe not for the right reasons, but also starring in Picard, starting in March, Whoopi Goldberg. It was Ghost, the iconic scene where they're pottering on the potter's wheel with Patrick Swayze and Demi Moore. Uh, Ghost was number one in the UK box office. It spent most of 1990 at the top charts. In the US, the number one movie was called Dark Man, uh, and that was uh, bringing in $8,054,860 into the US box office for just one week of airing. Uh, moving to professional wrestling, let's look at what happened when in professional wrestling there was an NWA house show being run um, from the Greensboro Stadium in Greensboro, North Carolina. It featured Brad Armstrong defeating Brad Anderson, the Junkyard Dog defeated Joe Kazana, the Midnight Express with Jim Cornette for part of last week's great debate went over Brian Pillman and the Z-Man Tom Zank. Lex Luger defeated Dan Spivey by countout to retain the NWA US Heavyweight Championship. And in the main event, it was the reigning and defending NWA World Heavyweight Champion, the man they call Sting, defeating Mark Callis, who became known as The Undertaker in the World Wrestling Federation less than a year later. So that was what happened when September the 1st, 1990. 